Hey, what's going on everyone out there on YouTube? Welcome back. My name is Kagan. Today we're going to be talking about Fallout, the new series. Now, I've always been a fan of the Fallout series. I started playing Fallout 3 in 2008 when it dropped and I binge played it for hundreds of hours probably by the time it was by the time I stopped. And of course, I loved New Vegas was awesome. Fallout 4 was awesome. They've all been great games. I've always been a big fan of them. I love the whole idea of like dystopian future that's kind of like retro-esque because the whole timeline is so much different than any other type of game that you ever play because it's very much like those old videos you would see of like what people thought the future was going to be like back in the 1950s so a lot of the technology and the robots and the machines and the houses and the people dress like they're in the 1950s but it's supposed to be like post-apocalyptic future as if the future ended in the 50s almost. Uh, obviously, a lot of you, if, if you don't know a lot about the game, the setting is like we go to war with China and, you know, nukes get dropped all over the place and uh, there are vaults and people lived in these vaults throughout the whole country seeded to basically repopulate if like once the smoke cleared kind of thing, right? All right, so the series actually released on April 12th. So it's been out for about four days and most people, or well, a lot of people have already binge watched the entire show. What they did, what they ended up doing is they dropped eight episodes all at one time rather than doing a one episode a week kind of thing like the trickle. Uh, and this way it allowed everybody to just binge the entire first season right out the gate, you know, because... We all like everything instantly right now. Give me, give me, give me. Let's get it. I want to, I want to get all of it right now, you know, cause we like that instant gratification, right? That could be a good or bad thing. I mean, I know that some of, some of you out there probably like sitting down and binging. I mean, I don't mind binging, you know, but then it's all over as soon as you're done. And then it's like, well, now you just have to wait for the next season to come out and you're just sitting around like, well, dang, I really wish I knew what was going to happen next. I'm like really been looking forward to this. Uh, I also think that there's a really there's something to be benefited from when they drop one episode a week, because then it's like we're all on the same page. Everybody's on the edge of their seat like, man, I can't wait till next Saturday or Sunday when they drop the next episode and everyone's super hyped about it. It kind of keeps it in the public eye for a little bit longer and kind of keeps it like current. Right. Whereas like if it drops the whole eight episodes or the whole season right out the gate, then you know, once it's over, then it kind of like fades away a little bit until like they announce the next season coming out. So kind of like, you know, really up to the the individual, how you feel about that. Me personally, I like how Naughty Dog did it with The Last of Us, where they released one episode a week until the, the season ended uh, because it forced us to be patient. And it was like a slow trickle and it allowed itself to like build up slowly over time throughout that season to the like the season finale, which is really cool. And it's like a more rewarding experience when you have to wait a little bit. But um, I think it still was very well done. Uh, obviously, like we've seen a lot of ups and downs when it comes to video game remakes into a TV series or TV adaptations of video games. I mean, uh, there's been a lot of controversy over whether or not halo the halo series was good i saw the first season of halo and it was like it was okay it wasn't bad but it wasn't like the greatest right and then apparently season two is a little bit better but i haven't watched season two of that um obviously the last of us they did a really good job with that whole show it was awesome like spectacular um and i haven't actually been able to watch any of the episodes of fallout yet but i am going to and i'm looking forward to uh, watching it because I mean it was a it was an awesome series it's been a great they did a really good job Bethesda uh, really knocked it out of the park with this whole Fallout series in general um, and that's another thing about the the folks that did this show is they actually brought Bethesda in to get their guidance and to pick their brains and be like hey how do we do this to make sure that we're staying true to the fans and we're you know staying you know not seeming like we're just cosplaying the whole thing and it's like fake and it doesn't feel like authentic obviously like the people that are most hyped about this this series are going to be the gamers who played fallout 3 fallout new vegas fallout 4 uh because those are the people that like kind of maybe grew up on this or were immersed in the whole lore of the whole series um and they're 
more likely to be the people that are like viciously can't wait to watch the next episode um, as opposed to somebody who's never heard of Fallout before. Now, that doesn't mean that it's not going to be appealing to other people. Like, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of people that will, you know, maybe be looking around and trying to find a new TV show and they might find Fallout and just be like, all right, well, I'll give it a shot. And I've heard that it's a very good show and very good series. So there's a good chance that this is going to be appealing to more than just the people that played the games, uh, which is always good because if it's just appealing to the gamers, then, you know, you're cutting yourself off to a larger audience. But the hardest, the hardest thing to do is to try to make it so that it's appealing and true to the story and true to the, the franchise so that way the gamers are also like, yeah, this is awesome. You guys did a great job. But then also making it in a way that's like appealing to all audiences, even folks that never played the games. That's a hard thing to do, and it's a hard thing to find balance in. So if it's as good as everyone's been saying, like, you know, awesome job. Like, I'm I'm definitely looking forward to checking it out. But I wanted to talk, talk about a specific scene and then we're going to watch the trailer real quick because I've, I've been wanting to rewatch this trailer i watched it once but i haven't seen it since it got dropped so there's a specific scene i think is like some cool lore that they put in for one of the characters who's a a, a fan favorite so let's check that one out real quick well back when i was in the marines back when i was in the marines if they ever drop a really big bomb i told us to hold up your thumb just like this and if the cloud is smaller than your thumb now you run for the hills. And if it's bigger than your son? They told us not to bother running. Back when I was with the Marines, they told us if they ever dropped an atom bomb on us, they'd uh, hold your thumb up. And if the camera zooms in on and focuses on your thumb, and your thumb's bigger than your head, well, you've got some big thumbs. All right, so that's just a little clip right before they actually detonate the the nukes in the show and now i want to watch the trailer i've only seen it one time so i want to i want to actually check this out hello there oh hello i'm here to show you a wonderful place oh there's a vault a veritable camelot the nuclear age not made by god almighty oh. but the working man Pit boy you can be a hero by purchasing a residence in a vault tech vault today. Because if the worst should happen tomorrow, the world is going to need it. you to build a better day after. He's great. He's like, he's such an awesome actor. He does such a good job. Oh, there it is. The Ferris wheel. Shady Sands Public Library. The mission of the vault, vault 33. Should be important to everyone. Welcome to the wasteland. To come up to the surface one day and restart civilization. You told me what happened in the last 200 years. And the pit boy. Holy shit. Oh. You're an actual vault dweller. Yeah. I am. <laughs> I thought all you dipshits were dead. <laughs> oh, man. What you're doing is insane. I don't want to set the world. It isn't like the vault out there, it's big. Fire. Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, there he is. The ghoul. Practically every person I've met up here has tried to kill me. I'm simply going to harvest your organs. I'm simply going to harvest your organs. You need to go home. You come from a world of rules, of laws. You come from a world of not be rules. Alone. Oh, the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh my Why did God. You the Brotherhood. Yeah. To hurt the people who hurt me. That's a fair reason. People are going to come after you. Dog meat. Ain't much stage clean up here, Vaulty. Oh, well, that's that's a big hole. Well, now that is a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. <laughs> yes. Look out at this wasteland. Oh, the Looks laser like beam weapons. But there's always somebody behind the wheel. The nukes? Yeah. What is happening here? A 
I'm not sure. Everyone wants to save the world. They just... They just agree on how. There you are, you little killer. Little killer. Oh, man. Oh, that looks so good. Okay. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty freaking oh, man. That's still that's so good. That's such a good trailer. They did such a good job with this, man. I'm super stoked. At, I'm, I'm going to have to. Bin, well, I don't know if I'll binge it. I'm going to have to start watching this thing. I've seen a whole bunch of people already talking about it. Everyone's like ranting and raving. It looks like it's freaking awesome. And I love the Brotherhood of Steel, you know, power suits. Like those are freaking cool. Uh, that was like one of my favorite parts about the game is when you get your first power suit, you're like so stoked because you're like, oh yeah, I'm like this undefeatable force now, and, you know, and you're running around the wasteland, like slaying a bunch of like uh, mutants and super mutants and like, death claws and all this other crazy stuff like and like the radioactive roaches that are like the size of a dog and all kinds of wild stuff um yeah it looks like they did a lot of they put a whole bunch of easter eggs in there that are going to be like just for the gamers they'll know what it is like the pip boy and like all this other stuff apparently they found a way to like I i've heard of other people talking about uh how they've they tried to find a way to institute the VAT system into the, the, the show, uh, which is like the VAT system is like when they you like it like stops and freezes and slows down. And then you can like target different parts, um, like different appendages, like if you want to target their arms or their head or their legs or their torso. Um, and that way you can kind of like use and, and there's like a certain percentage or something like that, just for those of you that never played the game. Um, but they tried to find a way to kind of like integrate that into the show too is like an Easter egg for the for the gamers and stuff too, from what I've heard. Yeah, I'm I'm super stoked for this. This looks amazing. And the fact that he his lore, the lore for the uh ghoul, the ghoul, the guy with like the missing nose who's the dude with the cowboy hat that was carrying his daughter uh when the nukes were going off. So the ghoul's played by Walton Goggins who's been in tons and tons of stuff. I mean, he's been in a bunch of, a whole bunch of Quentin Tarantino films. Yeah, it's a, it's, this looks cool. This looks really cool. I'm, I'm stoked to check this out. Yeah, the lore that the ghoul was a Marine before, that's kind of cool. That's a new thing, a little Easter egg for those of us out. I'm definitely going to check this out, so Anyway, let me know what you thought about these this trailer in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about that scene when he's talking about the bomb. Like, you know, if you guys have seen this this series or watched any of the episodes, let me know what you thought. I'm curious to hear what everyone else's opinions are. Um, and yeah, I'll uh, I'll let you guys know after I've seen a couple episodes. Maybe I'll do another video and let me let you know like what I what I personally think of the series so far. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.